And we back. It's Vach Lombardi. We're here to break down the Cowboy victory versus the Detroit Lions going into uh, a week where we're getting ready to beat the hell out the Patriots. That's just my vibes. That's how we do. Um, but we're taking a look at my cousin, young Tony Pollard today. Now, um, it seems that the theme of this week is willingness to change philosophy. OK, um, now I would have to see it again. I would I would like to see it a few weeks in a row before we really get on board with this whole notion that we're going to do whatever it takes to win. It seems like when the media journalist people came out and talked about Jason Garrett um, and how he wanted to get you know to to get to a point to where we we just got to do whatever we got to do and the other media media people took that piece of media and said hey well maybe a change of philosophy is on the way and then we see what Dak Prescott did we see him taking over the game by himself we see situations where we could run with Zeke but we're not going to run with Zeke because you know Dak Prescott's the best player on our team now so let's put the ball in his hands right um we see a lot more Tony Pollard like a lot less runs on um, first down or whatever so maybe this change of philosophy is coming at the right time in the season just this any means necessary approach right <clears throat> Let's talk about Tony, though. He did most of his damage in the receiving game, whether it be a design extension of the run or whether it was, you know, in a flat-out passing situation. He's going to be stacked behind Witten here. And we know we got man coverage across the board. <clears throat> I'll just let y'all take a look at this play one more time before I bring it back and talk about it. Touchdown. We know we got man coverage across the board because, I mean, look, take a look at your corners. They're walk down, square up on the receivers, playing inside leverage, trying to funnel your outside guys to the sideline. That's clear. Uh, that's 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 a clear man coverage indicator. You kind of got that across the board of this empty formation right here. Uh, five receivers, nobody in the backfield. Um, but we're focused on Tony secondarily, right? But what makes this whole thing work, and you see Dak, Dak um, you know, kind of politicking a little bit. The, the, the film got cut it off in the front end, but he's politicking, play changing. And we got Cobb, Gallup, and Cooper up top here. If everybody's in man coverage and Cobb, Cooper, and Gallup are running up the field, then they going to run up the field with Cooper, Cobb, and Gallup. And, I mean, that's fine, but what ends up happening is we got a lot of damn space down here. And what we've learned about my young cousin, Tony Pollard, is that you can't give his ass a whole bunch of space to do nothing. He going to catch the ball, look back, and be like, hey, man, y'all come back and tackle me. Where the hell y'all going? What are you doing? Come tackle me. <laughs> You can't stop it. You tackle me. <laughs> no, you didn't. Touchdown, right? And it was all because of play design. Fantastic play design. A lot of people want to push Keller Moore off a bridge. Hey, man, I think Keller Moore is doing a fantastic job of putting everybody in the right place at the right time. Uh, I'm going to do a do a Dak Prescott film session um, later on this week talking about his mechanics, talking about his little hip dance where he's opening up his hips, getting his hip flexes going. But look at his releases now, man. See how fast that is? See how quick he's getting the ball out, man? See how he's not going over the shoulder? See how he's just kind of ah, side-arming that thing, getting it out quick? Ah, you know what I mean? Um, easy catch by Tony. Yak. There we go. This is what I mean by he was uh, tearing it up in receiving as an extension of the run game because technically this is a pass play for young uh, for young Dak and a receiving play for young uh, for young Tony here. Uh, we're just gonna get the pitch and you know we just see juice, man. We see bursts. We see some different quickness there. Um, and look, man, like I always talk about, in order for Tony to get the ball, Zeke would not have to get the ball. Well, Zeke got this damn skill set. Uh, Zeke, Zeke's a blocker. He's a willing blocker. He's a good blocker. He's a physical blocker. He's a big muscle, right? Uh, let's see what he did. Kind of got a solid block right there, but hey, yeah, he did what he had to do. Uh, what what is looking like up front? Uh, Jason. Now let's let, let's go cartel view to see what happened up front. That's better. Jason's gonna do his thing. Lael Zach is gonna seal his guy. Hey man, Suafilo wasn't terrible. He didn't kill you. <laughs> he wasn't great. But Suofilo did not kill you today. So salute to him. Um, that's considered a pass. And young Tony's just going to see his little crease. And he's just going to go and get there, man. You even see this little this little gap right here, this extended B gap right here. Got this linebacker going into it or this cornerback, pardon me. Tony's going to leverage a little bit close to it to help Leo, you know, block a little bit, right? Because if Tony would have stayed wide, then this cornerback could just kind of go over the top and Leo would, would miss his block in that way. But how Tony patients it out a little bit, gets a little bit, uh, he gets close to that gap, he gets close to B gap, compresses it a little bit to make this uh, this uh, corner come down. And then once Tony bounces back into C gap, it turns into an easier block for Leo. Look at my cousin Tony finding this space, 
finding this 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 little bit of free grass to work with and how he gets real tight to Zach Martin's block right here. Take a look at that, man. Ah, look at that, man. Look at that. It's a um it's a short gain. It's a dirty run, but it's a run that's possible because Tony was able to see it and get there quickly, right? Quick eyes, quick feet. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. And then we ran the same exact play to the other side this time, but Tony's going to be motioning to the other side. Now, look, when I'm watching, when I'm watching the other teams in the in the National Football League, I look at a team like the Chicago Bears, who are terrible as hell, in my opinion. I say, you know what? If good things happen when David Montgomery gets the football, like why don't you just keep giving David Montgomery the football and let good things happen, right? Every time Tony Pollard touched the ball. <laughs> Every single time. And I hope y'all can hear the, the desperation, disparity, and emotion in my voice. Every time Tony touched the ball, something nice happens. Something beautiful happens. Even when, look at that, even Zeke missed the block right here, right? <laughs> look at this. Time out. Uh, I'll take a look at the offensive line in a second. But even when Zeke misses the block, oops, <laughs> Tony's still running through people, man. There's this notion that he's just this, this, um, that he's this, this gadget back, man. What the hell y'all getting there from? Like we do gadget stuff with him, but I'm gonna keep preaching it till I stop seeing it, man. Come on, son. Keeping your feet, running through people, getting your balance, getting a couple more yards. I'm very impressed with young Tony Pollard. Get him some more, uh, some more carries. Let's uh, take a look at your offensive line. Let's see what they did. Let's see what happened here. Uh, <laughs> Listen, man, Sue Phil. Look, man, Connor wouldn't have missed this block. <laughs> Connor, Sue Phil just fell down. What are you doing, Sue Phil? Get up. I'm not supposed to be talking about you. You're on my team. Why am I why am I telling you? <laughs> Get off the ground. Uh Tyron Yeah, everybody else cool. And Tony ready fine. All right, moving on. Now, this is something I would like to see. We uh we see young Tony Pollard in the backfield um split with uh Zeke there. I would love to see Tony Pollard get to the outside, just run deep with him right here. Throw the ball deep. Cause we did it with like Jamez Olawale, but like Jamez like, you know, gets on my nerves or whatever. But <laughs> getting this damn, getting this damn two back set, put uh and put Tony outside and, and look, if they're gonna be late adjusting to it, then just get Tony upfield and throw and just throw it to the end zone. Get him out of there. Um, but this ends up being a bubble. Um, you know, some light yak on the back end. Get about a yard or three. It's all good, man. Um, I'm just gonna let this run and just kind of talk y'all. You know, you know, just uh, talk to y'all for a little bit. But <clears throat> um, I'm ready, man. I'm ready for this new uh, for the new phase of this offense, man. Uh, people call me a, a, a Jason Garrett lover. Not necessarily the case, man. Because if he can't figure it out this year, sure we could we could push him off a bridge, man. But um, I mean, if our guys are executing, man, and if we fulfill this plan. Um, the way it should you know if we run this offense the way it could be run because I always tell y'all man that if I'm the offense coordinator this thing we're going to Super Bowl and that's just me being you know braggadocious grandiose vice for a second young Tony Pollard with the goal line carry this was a two point conversion gadget backs don't do this with your goofy ass look at you look at you running with power man keeping your feet moving let's go fam um, if we, you know, like if we want to reach our full potential, then we should look at young Tony as the Alvin Kamara back um, as a compliment to Zeke. And, you know, this thing, man, this thing, boy, this thing, this thing would be a whew. let's see what happens here, man. Uh, OK, look, dynamic. Another thing. Let me throw my pen on the table. How about this? If Tavon Austin ain't trying to give you good plays in the return game, I know Tony Pollard's giving you kick returns, but how often do we see kick returns? A lot of kick returns just end up being touchbacks or whatever, right? Let's put Tony on punt return to see what happens. Let's put young Tony on punt return so we can see what happens, man. Tony catches the ball here and politicking. <laughs> look, because to be fair, the guys that are trying to tackle him right now, look at the kicker. Look at the kicker, just nervous at nervous at all that Tony Pollard speed. The people that's trying to tackle Tony right now, um, 
are uh, they, they're like third string guys, right? They're, 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 they're like backups and third string. So let's let Tony get get dynamic a little bit. Let him try to outrun some of these little bottom feeding uh, <laughs> backup linebackers and corners or whatever. Just I don't know, man. I feel like I'm talking in a circle. I'm going to let it rock right there. Um, we got a Michael Gallup film session coming, too, so look out for that. And um, I want to take a look at Dak Prescott's mechanics this week. Um, if I got a little time, I'll, I'll I'll do like an extended offensive line film session. We can uh, take a look at that just so we can celebrate as a whole. But I'm trying to get young Tony Pollard involved in this offense as much as I possibly can. So I need y'all to vibe with me on that. All right. Um, Hey, man, like I said, follow me on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. Same thing on Instagram, same thing on um, Discord, same thing on, um, you know, Patreon. All those links are in the description. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Wolski and the Piski Whiskey. Until next time, which may be tomorrow. Salute. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay two hundred plus dollars a month. I paid one twenty a year, or you can go fifteen a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get twenty five hundred HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time. That you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.